Got it. Okay, Bruce. This is probably one of your better speeches. And let me tell you why. No, I'm not laughing either, seriously. You did several things exceptionally well that we all can learn from. I love your opening statement. It grabbed us. It wasn't only your picture, but you said, my question is, are you interested in participating in my horror film? What a opening. And then you had the picture of the toaster oven up there in the bathtub. Loved your slides. Even though some were a little bit more wordier than others, it really helped explain some of the information. You had great energy also. I mean, you seemed like you were in your zone or in your element. You were very enthusiastic. <laughs> That's kind of scary on the subject that you were talking on. <clears throat> it's like a nut talking about uh, cars racing around the track. You had excellent eye contact. You scanned the room from left to right. You also were very well organized in your speech. I can tell that you had not only prepared, but you also practiced. Because in a speech like this, you can't get up the night before or the morning of and just run through it as well as you did. I love your vocal variety throughout your speech. And there was one point where you really emphasized the shark. And you had vocal variety throughout. And along with that, you had really good pacing through your speech. There was sometimes you would speak fast, and there were other times you slowed down and spoke softer. Thank you for explaining ESD and GRID. I don't think I'll ever be the same now. One analogy, you had great humor. This was an educational speech for us that aren't familiar with this terminology. But one analogy that you used that I thought really helped explain the portion you were talking about was hitting a hornet's nest with a baseball bat. Very visual, very, very visual. I only have one recommendation. As well as you were organized and prepared for this speech, I'm a little surprised you didn't send your evaluation form to Emily or brought one in because everything else around your speech was excellent. And so I would, I I, yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. So I would just recommend to help the evaluator out and the Toastmaster by getting that evaluation form to your evaluator or bring it in in case someone needs to step up for the last minute. But overall, excellent speech. Back to you, Scott. Thank you very much.